Imagine stepping into a world where every corner radiates with the brilliance of optimism and the warmth of human connection. A world where even the clouds seem to part ways for the sunshine of positivity. If you've had the pleasure of encountering the 1960 movie Pollyanna, y'all know precisely the sensation I'm talking about. Remember that very first time you crossed paths with this cinematic gem. The screen came alive with the charm of a small town, and as Pollyanna's infectious spirit unfolded, it was as if a little piece of her boundless enthusiasm latched onto your heart. Maybe it was her unwavering belief in finding the silver lining or the delightful game of the glad game that left an indelible mark on your memory. Now, let's journey beyond the surface and uncover some lesser-known treasures about this timeless classic. Behind-the-scenes anecdotes, hidden details that colored the narrative, and the remarkable cast that breathed life into every scene. Did you know that the director's innovative choices in storytelling weren't just creative whims but carefully woven threads that shaped the entire cinematic tapestry? So, fasten your seatbelts as we venture into the labyrinth of random facts, shedding light on the brilliance that often goes unnoticed. Each revelation will deepen your appreciation for Pollyanna and give you a new lens through which to revisit this cinematic masterpiece. And now, as the curtains rise on our exploration of the hidden facets of Pollyanna, remember that the magic of discovery is best enjoyed when shared. So, think back to that very first viewing and the emotions it stirred within you. Are you ready to relive those moments and forge new connections with this beloved classic? Let's embark on this journey of revelations and nostalgia, where the past collides beautifully with the present. Haley Mills' journey from Pollyanna to Hollywood stardom in 1960, the cinematic landscape was graced by the heartwarming presence of Pollyanna, a film that would leave an indelible mark on audiences and kickstart the illustrious career of its young star, Haley Mills. Directed by David Swift, this film not only introduced audiences to the enchanting world of the titular character, but also set the stage for the blossoming career of its lead actress. Mills, who portrayed the optimistic and ever-cheerful Pollyanna, captured the hearts of viewers with her radiant performance. Little did the world know that this film would serve as a stepping stone for her ascent to Hollywood stardom. Following her standout role in Pollyanna, Mills' star continued to rise, ultimately leading her to a sitcom venture. The actress went on to headline the sitcom Good Morning, Miss Bliss in 1987, where she tackled the role of a dedicated teacher. This series later evolved into the iconic Saved by the Bell in 1989, solidifying Mills' place as a prominent figure in Hollywood's tapestry. From the sunlit world of Pollyanna to the bustling halls of Bayside High, Haley Mills' trajectory was one of unceasing achievement. David Swift, the director of Pollyanna, made an auspicious debut with the film, orchestrating the heartwarming narrative with finesse. The collaboration between Swift and Mills proved to be a harbinger of things to come. Swift would reunite with Mills the following year in 1961 for The Parent Trap, further cementing their creative partnership and leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. While many remember Pollyanna for its inspiring tale and the unforgettable performance of Haley Mills, it's important to note the multifaceted journey it set in motion. From the silver screen to the television realm, the film sowed the seeds of success for its cast and crew, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to shine brightly. Historical Curiosities of 1960s Pollyanna, unveiling the intriguing backstories in the enchanting realm of classic cinema, the 1960 film Pollyanna graces screens with its heartwarming tale of optimism and resilience. However, behind its cinematic charm lies a tapestry of captivating behind-the-scenes anecdotes that add an intriguing layer to the narrative. Among the remarkable tidbits, one vividly stands out, involving the opening scene that introduces a young blonde boy's daring plunge into a river. Portrayed by William Betts, a non-actor of seven years, this buoyant moment encapsulates a youthful spirit that belies the unconventional circumstances of its creation. In a twist of fate, the river, White Sulphur Springs, depicted as a playground of childhood freedom, was off-limits for swimming, even during filming. Betts, reminiscing in 2009, shared the irony of it Ala Iyu Rao a forbidden locale became the canvas for his cinematic leap of faith. Betts' connection to the film ran deeper still, as his mother, quite unexpectedly, played a minor role in the train station scene where Pollyanna embarks on her transformative journey. It turns out that neither mother nor son were actors by profession, rather, they were residents of the very town that became the movie's charming backdrop. As if the charm of a Vermont town weren't enough, the film's setting holds another layer of intrigue. Astonishingly, the picturesque locale that seemed so quintessentially New England was, in fact, an artful blend of diverse California landscapes, nestled miles apart in Napa Valley and Sonoma County. The film's seamless illusion of a single, cohesive setting underscores the meticulous craftsmanship woven into its fabric. Amidst these vignettes of production, the tale of the Pollyanna photo locket necklaces adds an unexpected twist. Roy O'Disney, the astute business mind and Walt Disney's brother, aimed to amplify the film's impact with a promotional item a EU ran exquisite locket pendant adorned with an inspiring quote attributed to Abraham Lincoln. Yet, this cherished Frisia EU Ra EU Ro when you look for the bad in mankind expecting to find it, you surely will a EU Ra EU Ross penned by the esteemed president but was ingeniously crafted by the film's writer and director, David Swift. 
When Swift discovered his own imaginative words taking physical form, he promptly recalled the necklaces, a testament to historical accuracy's value even in the realm of fantasy. Swift's involvement further shines light on the dynamic between creative vision and producer's influence. The director's intent to streamline the film, shedding 20 minutes and rearranging pivotal scenes, met resistance from none other than Walt Disney himself. The studio mogul had been entranced by the daily rushes, falling head over heels for the movie in the making. This enchantment translated into his unwavering stance against edits, highlighting the intricate dance between artistic autonomy and collaborative filmmaking. Pollyanna, a film that brims with optimism, ironically conceals tales of riverbound rebels, California landscape amalgamations, and crafted Lincoln wisdom. As the curtains rise and fall, the interplay of artistry, happenstance, and creative integrity weaves a tapestry as engaging as the heartening story that captivates audiences to this day. Haley Mills' unforeseen Oscar triumph, a surprise sealed in celluloid in the pantheon of Walt Disney classics. The 1960 film Pollyanna Gleams is a gem that both captivated audiences and marked a pivotal moment for its young star, Haley Mills. Under her five-year contract with Walt Disney Studios, Mills embarked on a journey of cinematic stardom, with Pollyanna standing as the inaugural entry in her impressive oeuvre of six movies. Yet, the spotlight not only illuminated Mills' performance but also bestowed upon her an unexpected honor. In a twist of fate, Mills was awarded a special juvenile Oscar for her role in the heartwarming film, a distinction that would resonate through time as the final of its kind, forever retiring the juvenile Oscar category. Remarkably, Mills' presence was absent from the award ceremony, leaving her esteemed colleague Annette Funicello to graciously accept on her behalf. Sir John Mills, her father, held firm in his resolve, choosing not to disrupt her education for the event. In a candid revelation, Mills disclosed to Entertainment Weekly in 2018 that she only discovered her Oscar conquest when it arrived unannounced at her doorstep. The 1961 Oscar ceremony and her nomination had been a secret well kept from her. As accolades and recognition swirled around the starlet, the threads of fate wove a connection between Pollyanna and the realm of television enchantment. Agnes Moorhead, Mary Grace Canfield, and Ritesh Shaw, all contributors to the film's splendor, converged on the set of Bewitched in 1964. Among them, Moorhead and Shaw shared scenes, crafting a single episode together during the show's third season. Witches and warlocks are my favorite things. Pollyanna, the 1960 film that radiated joy, inadvertently became a touchstone in the lives of those it touched. Mill's unexpected Oscar win, coupled with the serendipitous interplay of talent on both the silver and small screens, further cements the film's legacy as a crossroads of destiny and entertainment. Disney's Pollyanna, a sweet title or sour reception. In the annals of cinematic history, few names resonate as profoundly as Walt Disney. Yet, even the visionary behind beloved classics could not always predict a film's fate. Case in point, the 1960 release of Pollyanna, a film that left Disney puzzled over its lackluster box office performance. Walt Disney himself offered a curious hypothesis for the film's underwhelming reception. He suggested that the title might have played a pivotal role in the outcome. I think the picture would have done better with a different title, Disney mused. He opined that the word Pollyanna carried connotations of sweetness that deterred men from attending, despite its appeal to female audiences. Was this a case of perception overshadowing the film's substance? Behind the camera, writer and director David Swift orchestrated a charming world in the fictional town of Harrington. What moviegoers might not know is that this picturesque backdrop was brought to life by the citizens of Santa Rosa, California. Clad in period attire, these townsfolk eagerly participated in crowd scenes, contributing to the film's authenticity. This camaraderie culminated in a memorable sequence where the entire population of Harrington gathers to bid farewell to Pollyanna at the train station, a EU raw moment of shared involvement that resonates on screen. The film's journey wasn't without technical hiccups, as evidenced by an intriguing color quandary. During the creation of color separation masters, an inadvertent substitution occurred. Instead of the standard blue, green, and red filters, two blues and a red were employed. This mishap went unnoticed for decades until restoration efforts revealed an unintended garishness in the color palette. Notably absent was the color yellow, a casualty of the color mix-up. Fortunately, digital wizardry came to the rescue, rectifying the issue before the film's DVD release. Pollyanna, a film that navigated both heartwarming narratives and unforeseen hurdles, remains an emblem of Disney's cinematic prowess. Whether it was the title, the collaborative spirit of Santa Rosa's denizens, or the quirky color snafu, this 1960 classic has etched itself into the tapestry of film history. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Pollyanna, let's take a moment to savor the timeless beauty of this cinematic gem that has woven its way into our hearts. As the credits roll, may you find yourself not just an observer, but a fellow traveler on Pollyanna's journey at EUR, a journey that mirrors our own human experience, filled with trials and triumphs, setbacks and surprises. 
In this era of fleeting distractions, Pollyanna stands as a steadfast reminder of the power of positivity, a beacon of hope that gently nudges us to look beyond the surface and discover the silver linings that life often hides in plain sight. We've laughed with her, cried for her, and, in countless quiet moments, resonated with her unwavering spirit. As you reflect upon the magic of this 1960 masterpiece, let your thoughts wander to those cherished instances where Pollyanna's story intertwined with your own. Perhaps it was a rainy afternoon when her sunny disposition brightened your mood, or a moment of self-discovery that mirrored her own journey of finding joy amid adversity. No matter how Pollyanna found a place in your heart, those connections are what make this cinematic experience truly remarkable. So, I invite you to share your treasured memories and profound insights that you are your personal tapestry woven with the threads of Pollyanna's influence. Let your voice join the chorus of admirers who have been touched by this cinematic marvel. Thank you for entrusting your time and sentiment to the appreciation of Pollyanna. It's through these shared reflections that we breathe new life into a film that has, over the decades, become more than just a story, it's become a part of our own stories. Warmly, your name.